Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our new tool, Drobat PPK, for doing the post-processing of mapping missions carried out with a DJI Phantom 4 RTK drone. Here you see the files contained in the micro SD card including photo files and log files. In Drobat PPK we firstly need to create a project, and then, the tasks required for each case. So we enter a project name and click the plus button. In this case we will perform post-processing using a reference GNSS receiver that makes part of a public network of reference stations. As long as the coordinates of the reference point are known, and they are provided in the Renex files header, this allows us to skip the first type of tasks and jump directly to the kinematic task. The use is very simple, use drag and drop to set inputs on the corresponding containers. Drop here the Renex files we've downloaded from the reference stations network. Then, drop below the GNSS observations, logged by the drone and stored in Renex format as well. It is necessary at this point, to verify that the flight time span is fully within the time range of the reference record. In some cases, one needs to merge manually two consecutive hourly records, to frame the drone mission from start to finish. We could execute this task by clicking on the play button. Alternatively, we could add the next task, and later, we could run all tasks as a sequence in one click. So let's prepare the next task for processing the photo events and estimate accurate camera locations. Again, drag and drop is the input method. This task is fed by the results of the previous one, so we won't need to set positional input here, as it is done automatically. We need to drop here the file that contains the trigger events with the per shot offset corrections. They are logged in the timestamp.mrk file. At this point we can choose if we want the images to be geo-tagged, or if on the contrary, we only need to obtain a text file listing all file names, camera locations, and their estimated accuracy. Finally we select all pictures to be processed and drag them all to the corresponding container. We have now opportunity to check that the number of files matches the trigger event count, and also we can set the size of the camera icon, that is to be used for the KML output. Now it's time to run all tasks, we can do either step by step, or all together with the main play button in the project selector. We will wait a few minutes until it finishes. Ok, we are done now. It is time for analysis, first look at the statistics on the first task. It shows a global success in the estimation of drone flight path. We have got 100% fix, which is as much as to say that the post process allowed the reconstruction of the drone flight with the highest accuracy. Consequently we can expect to be able to get all cameras geo tagged with centimeter accuracy. We can see the output graphically if we open the plot. It shows in a very visual manner, the mission graph drawn in a green color stroke, that means also that the highest accuracy has been achieved. Looking at the second task stats, we see here excellent results as well. All cameras were interpolated within highly accurate segments of the flight path, and therefore, they get high quality positional tags. The output folder contains a KML file that can be watched with Google Earth. There are two text files containing the list of locations both for antenna phase centers and for camera centers. The latter is the one suitable as input for most photogrammetry packages. Thanks for watching.